when you ask a person to list some of the things that are significant to them, somewhere on that list you will find family. Families are important to us. We like to do things with our families, we like to talk about our families, and we like to share things with our families. Actually, families share a lot of things with each other. They share the basic things like food, the more substantial things like cars, and the more important things like experiences. From these experiences and shared adventures, we develop wonderful and long-lasting memories, some of which continue to be told from the day after they happen for as long as anyone can remember them. Today we are here with Kelly, and she is going to share with us a story members of her family just can't help but tell over and over again. Okay, so when I was younger, I used to play this game called Fox and Goose with my dad and my siblings. And it would be when it's snowing out, my dad would shovel paths from tree to deck to tree to our shed that was in the back corner of our backyard. And the game was played by my dad was the fox and we were all the goose or geese. And he would run around and he would chase us and tag us and ask, him, ask us if we wanted to go to his house for dinner, meaning he was going to eat us and put us in jail, which was the shed. The only way to get out of jail was if one of the other geese tagged you out. So one of my siblings had to go tag me out, but there was only one entrance to jail. So it was really hard, and you had to stay on the paths. My little brother had this blanket that he would not go anywhere without, and he thought it would give him superpowers. So I'm in jail. I need him to come tag me out, and he decides to put the blanket over his head and run to jail to try to tag me out. Unfortunately, he didn't realize there was a tree in the way, and he ran smack into the tree with the blanket still over his head. So he starts shrieking and crying. I run in the house to get my mom. My dad is not good with blood or anything like that, so instead of, you know, checking on my little brother to see if he's okay, he just carries my little brother into the house with the blanket still covering his face. Didn't even check on my little brother. Um, my mom looks over, she can, she sees that there's blood on the blanket, asks my dad what happens, he said he just ran smack dab into the tree, and he has yet to look under the blanket. <laughs> so my mom lifts up the blanket, sees that his face is all bloody, he ends up going to the hospital, getting stitches, my dad still has not seen him because he can't handle it, and the best part of the story is I got out of jail for free because he ran into a tree with a blanket over his head. It's interesting how sharing these funny stories seems to strengthen a family's bond. Even when the stories don't match up exactly, families still tell them anyways and enjoy doing it. Now we are going to hear a story from Chris. His family can never agree on the, a version of this story. Here's Chris's side. I remember a day long, long ago, back in Nam, when me and my sister, two little rugrats, just chilling, hanging out. And uh, we were both bored, so we decided we we're going to play a game. Me being the smaller one of the two, we, uh, we're we going to play a little, basically, some ring around the rosy. She held my hands and started to spin me. And I was like, hey, yeah, this is a bunch of fun. I'm laughing, giggling. I thought it was a great old time. And then I'm spinning along, spinning along, and I'm getting dizzy. And she's getting dizzy. And little do we know, our dad comes in, and he starts yelling at us. So at this point in time, as I'm spinning, um, she gets scared, more so tired, and just lets me go. So now I'm hurtling through the air, and I slam my face into a, I don't know, a brass cabinet and split my eye open. Um, later that night, we went to the hospital, and I got mm, 10 stitches. And basically, we bring this up because I blame her for it on a daily basis. It's interesting how when an event occurs, it may not be funny at all, but over time these memories turn into precious stories we love to tell and joke about at family functions. These recollections manage to bring families closer, and even when there are many different sides to the same story, one where she's always wrong and he left out the best part, families manage to continue to love telling their stories anyways.